Although government and bureaucratic insurance companies dominate American health care, there are still a couple tiny areas where the free market rules because the patient pays directly. Our special correspondent Kennedy visited a cosmetic dermatologist and a lazy guy surgeon. We have to provide excellent quality service to be competitive because our patients who are self-paying in the free market, they don't want to wait an hour to see your doctor. What are the benefits for not having to go through insurance companies? Enormous amount of paperwork that's required before and after. We don't have whole departments dedicated to insurance companies. Since he competes against other LASIK surgeons for patients, he needs to have the best equipment. The patients are quite savvy, so if it's not the advanced femtosecond laser, they're going to leave. It's a Google away to see what the best is. Technology is new. When I graduated from residency, we had one laser, one filler, Botox wasn't even approved. This is just in the last 15 years that we have all these products. This is a cosmetic dermatologist. She must have the latest equipment to attract and maintain customers. I happen to have 14 different lasers. I've bought them all. There's new resurfacing lasers and tightening lasers. And to keep patients, both of these doctors are very accessible. Do you give your cell phone number to patients? My patients have my cell phone, they have my email address, and I try to be accessible at all times. We have office hours Saturdays. We operate till 7 p.m. We have a doctor available 24-7. We have to be great to be competitive. Uh, it sounds nice. I, most of you, I bet, don't have such good care or that or they don't make themselves available that many hours. When's the last time you high-fived your doctor? Seriously. <laughs> How many people go around doing that? All right, but this is LASIK eye surgery, cosmetic surgery, elective stuff mostly for wealthier people. It doesn't take care of the big stuff. No, this is elective stuff that works and people find a way to pay for it. And uh, I have to tell you, like, this free market system, this model, I wish it were applied to other areas of medicine because the doctors have to be invested in their customers and their customers show their appreciation by going back continuously. But heart surgery isn't elective. How can the market work? You find the best heart surgeon. You, you look for customer reviews, you, you look at someone's academic history. How do you pay for it? Well, I mean, you have insurance. You're supposed to have insurance for catastrophes like heart surgery. That's what insurance was designed for. It wasn't designed to pay for 80% of every single minor medical kerfuffle you might stumble upon throughout the year. It's really supposed to be for those life-saving things. In fact, I asked Dr. Day because I spent a year without health insurance because I have celiac disease and couldn't get it. The system is not perfect, trust me, but when I didn't have insurance, I had to go to my doctors and say, all right, what will you charge me since I'm outside the system? And we work together. She said her father was, was a she, The doctor gave you a discount. Dr. Day said her father, who was a physician, taught her, people who can pay for it, they'll pay in full. People who can only pay a little bit, they'll pay a little bit. Some people can't pay, you help them out. She said she would have negotiated a rate with me outside of insurance. And in this little area of free market medicine, what's happened to the prices is interesting. The quality of LASIK surgery keeps improving and the prices have come down 25%. And the technology keeps improving because customers demand it. And when you have that sort of influence from what people really want, it's going to make the service better. Cosmetic services, they've only gone up by 23%. Inflation by 59%. Medical services have gone up by 108% when compared with one another. Free market works wonders. So thank you, Kennedy. So the market will take care of electric procedures like LASIK eye surgery, but what about the important stuff, heart surgery? Can we bring free market benefits back to that? Yes, we can. And when we return, I'll show you an Oklahoma surgery center where that's happened and prices are much lower.